Hey everybody, Josh here with Mayhem Handmade. Um, today it's about to be Halloween. Um, got a small pumpkin from the store. It's supposed to be like the eating kind, but it's like a eight inch pumpkin. I'm going to engrave on it. I'm going to cut through it. So I'm not going to engrave the top. I'm going to cut through and put some lights inside, probably some LEDs and make it light up and make it hopefully look nice. I did a couple of test runs and I was not super confident in the thickness of the pumpkins on it getting all the way through. So I really, really scraped on the inside and thinned out the wall that I'm going to use on, on this pumpkin so that it's as thin as possible and hopefully I get a good cut on it. So using the curvature, I'm going to likely be engraving or cutting and then I'll do two passes and then I'll lower it down, lower the laser module a little bit and then do two more passes and then keep lowering it and running it until it gets all the way through. So if I get through on some spots and not others, I may go in with a, with a blade and touch up, you know, trim some of that stuff out of there afterwards instead of keep on cutting with the laser. Okay. So I am working in creative space today. I've brought my, my design here into the program, made the sizing what I want about 150 millimeters wide. 120 tall. That's going to fit this entire side of the pumpkin. Like I said, I haven't tried this before. I'm just trying it out. So I've set all these these different cut paths to 100% power. I'm on a D1 non-pro 10 watt. So with a 10 watt, 100% power. I'm going to go four on the speed. I did some tests with three and five. Um, four is it's going to do okay, I think. Two passes on this each time, and then I will lower it down and run it again, and then keep lowering it, like I said, until it until it works, cuts all the way through. Go ahead and process. Okay, so there's my pattern. Uh, everything looks good on that. Okay, looking at this pumpkin I've got in here, you can see I've got my... I've got four risers on each corner, which still fits inside of my holders. So I know that it's nice and square to the table. Um, this pumpkin, I cut out the bottom, and not the top, so that it will look nicer when it's done. So I've, I've set this up, taken my tape. I can see where 120 is going to be, 60 in the middle at the crosshairs. And then I've looked at 150 to the side, so it's 75. It's going to be about that wide. Hopefully this comes out as planned. We'll see how it goes. I've never done this before. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Go ahead and frame this. Yeah, I can see that that went way off, way off of the pumpkin. So I'm going to see what I can do there to fix that. I have to size it down a little bit. Okay, after running this a couple of different sizes and framing, I think I've got it where I want it. It's all going to fit on one side here. I'm not sure how this is going to come out with the curvature of the pumpkin getting so far away from the laser. I um, guess we'll see how it does. No turning back.
All right, so you can see that that first pass is pretty dark on there. It cut in pretty good in some spots. Some spots it's out of focus. So definitely I'm going to lower down. So I'm just going to loosen it up. Without moving anything X and Y, I'm just going to move, drop the laser module down just to about four or five millimeters and then run it again. So I hit process again and send the program to the laser and hit the button. Okay, so while the pumpkin is cutting on the laser, I'm taking a drill. So I've got these LED lights, orange LED lights. Um, they're just like side marker lights for a truck. And I've got a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to use a few of these. I'm going to I'm going to put holes in this bottom cover for the pumpkin and run the wires out the bottom and put the wires together. I've got a 12 volt power supply. I'm going to connect it to and eliminate the pumpkin. So I want all these to meet up in the same spot. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these to length so that they'll meet up on one side.
<laughs> These twisted real good together. Okay, we've got our connections, got our lights installed. And I may work something out to where this is going to get a little more flush up against the bottom. I may make a groove so that it'll go underneath. Right, let's see what kind of light these things put off. Yeah, that's going to look good in there. Well, that will illuminate our pumpkin. It's going to look nice. Okay. Um, on this one, I lowered it four different times and ran two passes each time. So I ran five times, so that's ten passes. It didn't cut. You can see that it did cut through on a lot of it. And I think in those places it'll just push right, push right through. Very easy to push in. I was going to take this opportunity to just put my lighted bottom that I made in there and just see what it looks like with just the outline. Okay, you can see that the wiring that I made. I made it to where it will sit flat, comes out the side. You can see there, um, looking at it at night, you can see pretty good. It kind of lights up through the entire pumpkin, but you can see the outline from dead on. Pretty good in there, but I'm going to take and I'm going to just poke. I'm just going to poke all these out. So I'm going to spend some time and use a little blade and just, just run through all the cracks, knock all these little pieces out, and I will show you the end result. Okay, all finished up with the pumpkin. Um, after cutting, I, I did five passes or five different starts of the engrave, two passes each. And carving this pumpkin, it's, it's gone a little bit, not as far in some places because of the curvature of the pumpkin and it's so 
big of a design that it wasn't really cutting on the sides, but it's nice and dark. It's black in there. You can see light through it. I'm, I'm good with it. Um, the light setup worked really well. Um, that's going to sit in there. I've got a plug-in power supply that I can just turn it on. I can put it inside, outside, whichever. Um, overall, first time doing this, it came out okay. I think if I did just the face on one side, it would be enough to cut through instead of getting so far out of focus on the pumpkin here. Maybe something to try again. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a like. If you have any suggestions on what you want to see on the laser or anything otherwise, just put it in the comments down below and I'll make a video for you. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll see you in the next one.